Hi, this is Tiffany with Hustle Heart Design Co. I just want to do a quick video about my new Photoshop script for batch processing camera frames. Batch processing creating camera frames. Okay, so for, in order to use this script, you will need Photoshop. Um, you will need PNG files. It only works with transparent PNGs. And you will need Canva. Okay. So I have about five versions of this script, but the one we're going to talk about today, um, let's see, it says Canva Frame Creator by Tiffany, multiple folders with stroke. So this script here, it can, you have a main folder and say you have maybe four or five, um, however many um, subfolders within that folder. This script will process each subfolder and turn whatever PNGs you have in there into PDFs for camera frames. And um, it will automatically create the output folder for you. You don't have to select the output folder. You can change your file name for the uh, created uh, PDFs for the camera frames. You can add a prefix or a suffix to the file name. And you can also add a stroke to your camera frame. Okay, so when 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 all of this is done, you will have three layers when you open up your file in Canva. You will have your image, you will have the stroke around the image on a layer, and then you will have, you know, the main uh, base part of the camera frame. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is choose our uh, main folder where we want to create the, the uh, files for. So we're going to go to browse. Let's see. I'm going to go here. These and I have a test folder. Okay, I have uh, three three subfolders in this test folder. There's a folder for SVGs, and then um, these two folders, quotes and quotes two, they have um, different sets of PNGs in them. I just got some bundles off of uh, Creative Fabrica. And uh, we're going to turn them into camera frames. So I think each folder maybe has, let's see, this folder here. Well, it won't show it here. Um, okay, it doesn't have anything in it right now because I'm in the script. But uh, let's see. Let me go back so you can actually see the, uh, okay, you can see what's in the folders here. So we're going to go back to that. Okay, so this is a test folder quotes one and two, let's see, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. Uh, these are the images that we're gonna turn into camera frames. So that's the first folder, and this is the second folder. Okay, we're gonna turn all of these into camera frames. Okay, and um, it only works on, um, it's just going to be one solid camera frame. Okay, so, okay, and I'm going to go back to choosing the files. So, um, for this script, we have to choose this folder because this is the folder here that contains the subfolder, okay? So, then we're going to go to select folder, and it's there, okay? And we're going to leave the prefix and the suffix there so you'll see that the new image will have those, um, it will say prefix in the beginning and then it's gonna say suffix at the end, but it can be whatever you want it to be. And we're gonna leave, we're gonna add the stroke so you can see how that that is. And we're gonna press okay and it's gonna start processing each folder. Okay, so that's saying okay. So let's see, and you see the little arrow, so that means that it's working. Okay, so here's the process folder here. And it's turning them into PDFs. Okay. So that's that. So it starts on the first folder. And then once it's done with that first folder, it's going to go to that second folder. And um, I did notice that it will add a process folder for the um, any additional types of files that you have. So it's going to say a process folder in the SVG folder, but there will be nothing in it because... Um, it doesn't contain any PNGs. Okay, so it's not going to process these uh, SVGs. Okay, so right now it's working on the second folder. Okay, and it's going to give me a message 
when it's done. Process and complete for all folders. And I'm going to press OK. OK, we're going to open up the quotes folder. Let's see, is eight images here. So there should be eight files here. So yes, eight files. And then you see it added prefix and suffix at the end. And it kept the file names. Okay, and let's go to the second folder. It is six images here. So there should be six images here. Let's see, yes, yeah, so there are six files. So now we're gonna go to Canva. And let's see, I'm going to do the first folder first. Okay, so eight, one. I'm going to drag and drop them into this camera frame folder that I just created. And we're going to open up these before we add the second folder. Okay. Okay, so let's go to quotes two. Open this folder. So we're gonna have, I think, 14 images. And I already made a folder called Canva Frames. Okay. I'm just gonna open this one up so we can see how it is here. Okay, and it shows the name of the file here, prefix, the title name, suffix. Okay, so let's go to the layers menu. There are three layers and the background is transparent. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to go here, detach image from file. That's the first camera frame. This is the stroke here. I'm gonna detach um, image from frame. And then this is your image here, but you're going to have to, uh, let's see, we're going to do select, this, um, set image background, then we're going to detach it from the background. And then this is it here. <clears throat> and then we're going to hold down the control so that it won't go into the camera frame because it's still a PNG. Well, it still acts like a PNG because it can go into the camera frame. So... Let's see, okay. Or you know what you can do with this here? You can move it all the way to the back and add a shadow to it. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna move this one down. I'm gonna go to edit photos. And let's see, I'm gonna add shadow. Uh, I'm gonna add a glow, okay. Okay, so now we have our main image. Let's see, I'm just gonna do glitter. Glitter pattern. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there and then we have to add the stroke we can make that a color or we can add um, an image in there i'm gonna just move it to the top so it'll be easier for me to drop a camera frame in there let's see okay okay so Okay, make that a little wider. So now that it has a stroke, so that's cute. So um, you have your main camera frame, you have a stroke camera frame, and then you have your image. Let's see. Let's go back to the other camera frames. So everything is about the same. Let's see if I can go to folders here. Folders. There's 14 camera frames here. So,
Yeah. So you would just do the same thing um, with all of them. So let's see this one here. Layers. Detach image from frame. And you can detach image from frame, and that's a stroke. And with this one, you know, you have to do that first, and then detach it from the background, and then you'll have your image. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the shift, and I'm going to uh, mean the control, and expand this one again so we can move it to the back. And make a shadow with it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, why did I, I didn't mean to do background remover. I meant to do shadows. Okay, so I just gave it a glow. Okay. Okay, go back to position again. And we're going to add... Mm, let's see. I'm like, let's try that image. Okay, the stroke is on the top. Let's see. Position. Is it that not dropping in there? Oh, okay, this may not be one that can do it. Okay. <laughs> this is stroke. Okay, that was weird that that type of image wouldn't drop in there. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Or you can just delete this uh, back layer. You don't have to keep it. So there you go. You got your stroke. And you can actually change the color. Not the stroke. Yeah. Just do it like that. Okay. So, um, let's see, let me go, so all of them are like basic, basically the same. Um, if you chose not to do a stroke, you wouldn't have this black outline because this black outline is what you chose when you, um, is what you get when you select the 25 pixel, um, outline. So, um, if you chose not to do the outline, it would upload with only two layers. Okay, so let me know what you think, if there's something that you would be interested in, or is there something that you think could be added that will make it better? Thank you so much. Um, let me know what you think. Oh, I also have a, um, I created a GPT that creates silhouette images that are easy to convert um to Canva frames. So with this GPT, you just um everything you can just tell it I put in um cute ethnic fairy princess and it gave me this image and it will also give you four variations of the image and it's gonna and um the images will be in um the variations will be in um mid journey format. I know you don't have to do the slash imagine anymore but I, I use Alpha and I still use the Discord. So if you can put the slash imagine in there and it'll still go through for Alpha also. So I just left it in there. And um, it has a copy code for um, each variation. So you won't have to do the copy, the copying and the pasting and all that. You just copy this and I'll just take it over to Mid Journey. That was a pain point for me. I hate having to... Um, 
select and copy. I know it. I'm, I just don't like to do that. So I added that to my GPT. Um, so it's going to give you the four variations and it's going to ask you if you would like to render these images in Dolly. And then if you say yes, it's going to render all four um, images. So, and it gives you, it's, since it doesn't show you the full prompt, it just tells you that the first It'll give you a title of what the image is about. It says playful fairy princess, elegant fairy princess, adventurous fairy princess, and mystical. So it should be, this is the playful one. This is supposed to be the elegant elegant, elegant one. I don't like this one. So I read, um, redid it um, and it gave me a better one. This one is cute. This one is cute. And you can also upload an image and it'll turn it into a silhouette for you. Okay, so I uploaded this image of a dog, Easter egg dog. So it did it here, but it didn't include the Easter egg. Um, let's see here. And this here is the um, fairy image that, I, that it redid over for me. I think that's cute. Okay. And I think that's about it. So once I, once I decide to release this, it will come with this free GPT that you can use to create silhouette images. And um, I have so many scripts um, that I've been, I've been really getting into creating scripts and everything. And I think it's really neat. Um, it just makes things easier. Um, just please let me know what you think. And um, is there anything that you would like to add, like me to add? Or if you would like to maybe test this out for me. Thank you. And have a great day.